Let's take a look at the mean and range questions. So question one um, is a non-calculator question. We need to work out the mean of this list of numbers. So what we need to do is add these numbers together and divide by um, the number of values. Now in total there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're just dividing that total by ten. To make life easier for myself, since I can't use a calculator, I'm just looking for, rather than just adding them up in the order given, I know that nine plus one is a 10, eight plus two is a 10, and four plus six is 10, so there's 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 50, 53. So 53 divided by 10 is 5.3. Now the range is the highest value minus the lowest value. Now the highest is 11 and the lowest is one. So the range is 11 minus one, so the range is 10. Question number two, we are at least allowed to use a calculator here. So what we're gonna do is add all of these values together. Now that comes to a grand total of 105. And we're gonna divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 105 divided by 15 is, um, that comes to seven. So the mean score is seven. Now the range is again the difference between the highest and the lowest. Now the highest is 12 and the lowest is two and 12 take away two is 10. So the range is 10. Uh, question 2C, is it possible for the range to be any greater than your answer for part B? Bit of a confusing question, but remember that um, Leah and Roma are, are rolling two dice. So the minimum score they could get is two and therefore the maximum would be two sixes which is 12 so the maximum possible range is in fact 12 minus two which is 10 so no it is not possible for the range to be greater than our answer in b because um well the maximum range is 10 because the maximum score is 12 and the minimum is two question number three again we can use the calculator so we need to add all of these uh, values together and when we add them all together, we get a total of 348. And we're going to divide that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And 348 divided by 12 is 29. And the range is simply the difference between the highest value, which is 37, and the lowest value, which is 22. So 37 minus 22, the range is 15. Question number four is a calculator question. So we want the mean weight. So we're gonna add the all these weights together. And if we add all of these together, we get 94.5 kilos. And we're gonna divide that number by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 94.5 divided by nine is 10.5 kilos. Now the range is the uh, weight of the heaviest pumpkin minus the weight of the lightest pumpkin. The heaviest is 13.2 and the lightest is 8.3 and 13.2 minus 8.3 is 4.9 kilos. So Theo realizes he forgot to include the weight of one of his pumpkins on the list and the weight of this particular pumpkin that he forgot is 12.1. And if this is added to the list, how is it going to affect the mean and the range? Well, first of all, the mean was 10.5. So if we're adding another pumpkin in there, which is greater than the, than the mean, then that means the mean will increase. So the mean's going to increase and the range, uh, the range will not be affected because the range will still be 13.2, take away the 8.3. 12.1 has not increased the, the maximum and it's not decreased the minimum. So the range is gonna remain the same, but the mean will go up. Question number five is another calculator question. So all we need to do here is add up all the ages and then divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. When we add all these figures up, we get a total uh, combined combined age of 420 and that divided by 14 comes to a mean age of 30. Now the range is the oldest person, the age of the oldest person minus the age of the youngest person. The oldest person is 62, the youngest is 9 and 62 minus 9 comes to 
a total of 53. So the range is 53. So in 5C, the nine-year-old leaves the party with the parent who is 36. So how is it going to affect the range? Well, it's not going to affect, the oldest person at the party is still 62, but the youngest person is no longer nine. The youngest person is now 12. So 62 minus 12 is 50. So we can see that the range has dropped in value. Question number six is a calculator question. So for the mean price of the cars, we need to work out the combined price. We need to add all of these figures together. And when we add them together, that comes to a grand total of 28,350. And we're dividing that by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 28,350 divided by seven comes to a total of 4,050. The range is, uh, the range of prices is the value of the most expensive car minus the value of the cheapest car. Now the most expensive car is 6,000 pounds. So 6,000, take away the cheapest, which is 2,450. And 6,000 minus 2,450 is 3,550. So the car that is priced at 2,950 is sold. So how is that going to affect our answer to part A? So what is the new mean? Well, if we get rid of one of the cheaper cars, in other words, one of the cars that um, has a value that is lower than the mean, then that is going to raise the value of the mean. So the mean will increase. You don't have to do any calculations here, but you can if you want to. Um, the, what is the new mean? It's going to be um, these six figures divided by six. And you'll see that that results in a mean price which is greater than 4050 so the mean will go up question number seven is a calculator question so again like all the other ones we just need to add up all of these values and then divide by four five six seven eight nine and when we add up the total grams of sugar that comes to 77.4 grams and if we divide that by nine we get a mean value of eight 0.6 grams of sugar per 100 milliliters. The range is going to be the greatest take away the lowest value. So the greatest is 11.1 um, and the lowest is 5.5. 11.1 take away 5.5 is 5.6. Question eight is a non-calculator question. Uh, so Dwight measures the maximum temperature every day for 10 days. The range is nine. So what that means is the difference between the smallest and the highest temperature is nine. So if the lowest was 13, then the highest is going to be 13 plus nine. 13 plus nine is 22 degrees C. Question number nine could be quite challenging. So what we need to remember is that to calculate the mean, the mean is the total of all the values combined divided by the number of values. Now what we have here is we have um, we've got this fact here he adds up he adds up all the numbers and gets a value of 182 so there is the total and we've got the mean and we want to work out the number of values which is the same as the number of friends. So we've got a formula here where uh, if we just write that um, a equals B divided by C. We, we, you don't need to write this, but this is just to explain what's going on here. You can always flip the A and the C. So if A is B divided by C, then C is B divided by A. That can be quite useful for things like speed is distance divided by time. So therefore swap over the S and the T, time is distance divided by speed. So here if mean is total divided by the number of values, therefore the number of values can be rearranged to the total divided by the mean. So here we've got the total, which is 182, and we're going to divide that by the mean, which is 13, and 182 divided by 13 is 14. So therefore, Imran asked 14 friends.